Okay, so it's time for game two between Exo Bay and Echo Fox. Inferno, Exo Bay starting on the CT side. So again, I'm curious to see what Echo Fox have to uh, produce for us on their T side. Well, on both pistols, in fact, because uh, they've been very interesting on Mirage. So, mm. so uh, things getting a little bit weird. Wow, flying DSR, some serious Whee! bunny hopping going on there. Beautiful. And of course, the, uh, the, the T's did win. Flies are guaranteed in North America. Amazing. Oh, double mm. night through the windows. Nice Molotovs mm. coming out. And uh, uh, ACZ, I'm not going to overextend here. Like Very nice play by him. So, this is the kind of anti eco we like to see. Taps at the back, he's going to get the first one as well. And Mo will now have that information. He has got a man pushing a forward ahead of him, which is Riggs. He's going to get the frag. Is he? He's going to get the frag. Mo finishes the second one. And they've removed two. Advantage here, Echo Fox. And then two picked off straight away. Breeze now last man standing. He's going to pick up the first. Going to get the second now. It's a one versus one. Ooh, oh, Mo sized him up for a start. Looked to get the orb shot in. And he's going to have to run away. And he gets a short scope. Brilliant shot from Mo. So we'll see what he can do to get them on this occasion. There is got a bit of a forward position. Wow, really? I mean, that is asking a bit much versus Mo. You know he's going to be waiting for you yeah. there. So. They're going to be pushing down uh, the other side of Arch. And this time around, they're strong as well. Two dispatch inside. Jules. Right at the same time, including the uh, deeper pit. So Mo's got off to a good start, and things are starting to speed up now. People pushing towards short, but one of the pit players has gone down. Now the bomb oh. jumped into pit and been taken down. And Breeze can try and waste time here while his teammates rotate as well. He is going to get shot straight in the head, though, so that's not going to go to plan. They know they are close indeed. Sean Garris, very close and personal. And Rick's finishing off the second one, so a 2v2. One by Echo Fox, and obeys full by made absolutely no difference. What? Let's not answer that, Mo. You won't know the answer. Ooh, clock is ticking. They've still got two defuse kits, but really, if the man defusing gets taken down, then that should be the end of the round. He's going to get taken down as well. So it's another round in favour of Echo Fox, and there will be no save for no one this time, because he's on a site and they're all going to die. Oh, that's not good. They all know where he is now. He has no idea where they are. He's going to check dark any moment now when he goes around behind barrels. Doesn't get the kill. And Echo Fox extend their lead even further, 12-2. Coming in, and Mo could get taken by surprise here. He's going to get a scope up just in time. Sees the first play, gets a nice tag on him, finishes him up with the Tech 9. And here we go, Slemmy's position now is really important. Mm, trying to get through this apartment complex. There's one down below as well. He knows they're going to be waiting for him, and the lineup is easy. And they're finished off at the end. It's just an absolute disaster on that bomb site. And uh, it deserves no, no, no other scoreline than the one we've got, 13-2. It's, it's a fair reflection of what I think we've seen in the first half. He is very fast. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Ridiculous. Well, we have the smoke onto truck, which allows people to push out of the balcony uh, with the CT vision obscured and the smoke towards the pit area. Mozo with a nice pick. So uh, this suggests that Obey could go for a wrap even though they've got nobody on banana, but there is already somebody sleazy, so uh, this might not work out for them, although those two facts could change something very quickly indeed. Trades all over the place. We've got two versus three now. Sean Gares, though, in a very nice spot. Can he real figure out where the uh, the player he's looking for is? Oh, the Molotov huh. has hit the ceiling, and that's not going to help at all. In fact, it's going to slow them down. Only a smoke left for the uh, CTs, which I could try and put towards the pit. It might be a bit awkward for Ape. So we can see players on the site now, wow. and Ape might be forced out of his, his position, oh. but there we go. Sean Gare is going to take him down. Very nice play by the two players there, and that bomb will get defused. So Echo Fox moved towards 14. And A2Z just got his knife out so he can get some fast picking going on, taking a bit of damage, but he's got the information for his team putting the smoke down, which would be suicide for the T's to run through. And they're going to do it anyway, and they're in wow. suicide. Picking up another gun, he's going to get the third frag as well. So uh, Exo Bay just throwing their force by away. That was There's a reason you don't run through that smoke. What? <laughs> he's nearly picking up a four through there as well. You didn't have no idea. Well, let's see what uh, Exo Bay have to offer, uh, offer other than running it's through little... smoke to impending doom. Oh! Smokes. So they're going to go 
going for a bit of a plant boost. Mo missing the shot top mid. Gotta be careful. Got support coming in from TCK. That's very important. And he's gonna support TCK in return. Nice P to 50 shot there. Trace coming in from both sides. Now he's got A to Z. He's gonna try and defend short. That's not gonna work out for him. Sean Gare's coming in for more trades. TSR down to 15 HP. And he's oh last dear. man standing for his team. So Sean Gares should be good for it. And indeed he is. So 16 to 5. A uh, solid route there from Echo Fox.